wildlife habitat can be destroyed by development, farms or mines, or degraded by invasive species, climate change or pollution, so it no longer supports native wildlife. Sprawl has increased the rate of habitat loss. One estimate says U.S. forest land the size of Pennsylvania will be consumed by expanding cities by 2050. Birds, insects, mammals, amphibians, and reptiles all need habitat, areas with food, water, cover, and places to raise their young. Unfortunately, with sprawl, native wildlife now has fewer places to call home. Many residential landscape architects are helping to stem the losses by creating beautiful neighborhoods that provide habitat for many species. Starting with homeowners' properties, fragmented habitats can be rewoven together, creating neighborhoods that are not only healthier for wildlife, but also for people. To attract native birds and the native insects they feed on, homeowners must offer diverse native plants which provide larval food, nectar, pollen, seeds and nuts, and reduce pesticide use. Native meadows filled with beds of grasses, forbs, sedges and rushes are not only beautiful, but also help reforge connections with nature. Once established, native landscapes don't need the amounts of water or unhealthy chemical fertilizers and herbicides that lawns do. Wildlife needs clean water to drink and for bathing and reproduction. Clean water can be provided at many scales. A simple bird bath, shallow pool, rain garden, or a marsh. Birds, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals need places to shelter. Unfortunately, they rarely get it when homeowners just use lawns and trees, leaving out ground cover, shrub, and understory layers. Landscape architects design layers of bushes and shrubs, as well as safe structures like brush piles. Design rock piles or walls create visual interest and provide habitat. Homeowners who leave dead trees in place provide rich habitat for insects, birds, and mammals. Wildlife needs places to bear their young, raise them, and protect them from predators. Native plants and design structures can provide that cover but it's important to offer plants for species' entire life cycles. As an example, a butterfly needs larval host plants to grow, and nectar plants to fuel adult flight. With development, habitat is fragmented nearly everywhere. Many natural areas are now too small to sustain native species for long. The long-term survival of many species depends on recreating connections. Birds, turtles, reptiles, frogs, and other amphibians Foxes and other mammals all need safe passage through neighborhoods and places to raise their young within them. Corridors need to be protected where species are already using them. Wider, more continuous corridors work for a greater range of species. A recent study argues that organically formed corridors are more successful than easements along a street or utility line. Habitat loss and the corresponding loss of biodiversity doesn't have to continue. Communities can connect their properties into a network of attractive, wildlife-friendly neighborhoods, cities, and regions. Increased biodiversity has its own benefits. These landscapes maintain themselves without fertilizers and less water. Biodiverse residential landscapes are not only beautiful, but also help families see the wonder of nature close to home. As scientists are now proving, just being out in nature, seeing plants, and hearing birds reduces stress and improves mood. Think about how to make your home more wildlife friendly, beautiful, and healthy.